right, if you have a crazy high idle, it's probably your idle air control. So we'll go and replace it and see what we get that to come down. Right, this little plunger guy gets all jammed up. I tried cleaning this one, still didn't help. Parts relatively cheap. AC Delco. I'll show you where it goes here when I install it. Disconnect your battery before starting. So this is your 3.4. Super easy to find. Just right at the front. Right here. You'll see in there uh, where the little plunger goes. Clean that out as well before you put the new one in. Pop that in until it's, you know, it's seated. The plug goes towards the front. So this is the front of the car here. And it's going in here. So we'll put the two little screws in first and that should fix your high idle. Nope, that wasn't the cause of the high idle. All right, we'll keep investigating. And if you go to restart it and still idling high, let's see what's going on. Maybe we can try to clean the butterfly valve. So in this case, unscrew this till it's loose, which I have done. Pop it off. All right, come down here and see. So open it up with your, uh, your throttle control cable. All right, you're gonna wanna clean the seating position. So get your rag right in there all the way to where it's kind of, this little butterfly valve is jamming up against it. There's a little groove that goes all the way around. Clean that out. All right, you should be starting to see uh, black stuff coming out. We're also gonna take out the IAC, spray in there. Go clip with a little prong here. Sorry, I had to go grab my my Torx a bit because this one has a little star shaped or the Torx T O R X style screws. One on each side. Be very careful you don't drop these down into your engine. They're very fiddly. off and this is your idle air control and uh, this is the new one <laughs> so I'm still getting a high idle even though I replaced it which is why I'm popping it out to clean and it still looks clean uh, I'll spray it nonetheless and spraying the hole here You'll see that it comes right out. And if you're still getting a high idle after this, probably have an air leak, a vacuum leak somewhere that you'll have to go hunting around for. So I'm still having a high idle. Uh, so I'm taking a look at the throttle cable and I notice when I pull towards the front of the car to get slack in the cable, the um, idle goes down. So possibly the throttle, throttle position sensor, the TPS, or the cable itself is too tight. There's not enough slack in it. So what I'm doing here is loosening off the lock nuts on the throttle cable to get some more slack in that cable to rule it out as a possible cause. So 
there's a throttle position problem here. All right, and this is completely loose. And yet without pulling on this back, I wouldn't have dropped it down. So, you know, try lubricating it. And if all else fails, I'm gonna have to change the throttle position sensor. So another very common place to look for an air leak that might be affecting your idle on a GM engine is it was going to your brake booster, right? Um, look for your big round circular thing coming off the engine. And I just noticed like there's no uh, clamp on this side. May not be one on this side either. So we're gonna clamp those up once the engine cools down because it's pretty hot to work on right now and see if that helps with my idle. So again, high idle, check the hose is coming out of your engine to your brake booster. All right, I just pop this off since there was no hose clamp on it holding it on. All right, this is the hose going to the brake booster. There's not one a clamp on that side either. So once you get one side off, it's quite easy to get a clamp down there. Uh, you just have to decide which way you want it to face. So I got my hose clamps on. This one here, the other one on the brake booster. So we're good to go to start it up again and see how we're doing. I'll call that a success. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody.